Hey, hey, everybody. It's your girl, Story Tell Miss Talk on Deck. And it's your girl, Psychic Synonymous. Still anonymous. And together we are... Your, your favorite, favorite besties. besties. So, hey, guys. Hope you guys are living your best lives and uh, doing what you do best when you're on deck. Thank you guys so much for joining us. Anonymous, what do we have on deck today? Okay, now, you know... Florida is one of our favorite states. Oh, not Florida. No, yo, it's Florida. Florida. Yeah, I'm taking it personal. Florida is one of our favorite states because you know what? We have some amazing people that we know out there in good old Florida. And then you know what? We've been exposed to some very questionable people in the state of Florida. This is not a questionable person, but this is a teacher who has had enough. A Do you teacher. hear me? Yeah. Listen, you, now you guys know how everybody, uh, due to the pandemic, they're um, doing distance learning. So usually the learning is at home via people have their Chromebooks and the kids are online. So one teacher was quoted as saying, wear clothes, ditch the drugs. Ooh. Florida teacher educates parents on virtual etiquette. Oh, wow. Ditch the drugs? You heard her. Oh, that was bold and brazen. That Wait. Oh, oh, baby. That this article bold. goes further. That was bold and brazen. It goes further. Like mm. Would you like to get into it? A Florida elementary school teacher shared her thoughts on remote learning etiquette when speaking at a school board meeting Wednesday. Only her comments weren't aimed at students, but their parents. Uh, Boca Radden elementary school teacher Edith Pry got colorful when describing the informalities of parents' behavior when they appear in the background of their children's virtual classes. I'm only laughing because I've seen memes that were people were completely inappropriate. But anyways, let's continue on. So parents, she this is what she was quoted saying. Parents, please make sure that you have on proper clothing. I've seen the lady's whole ass out. So, like whole ass out, so. but anyways, she said, parents, please make sure that you have on proper clothing when you are walking behind your child's computer because we've seen them in their drawers, their bras, and everything else. Pride said during the board meeting. Pride also called out some parents for questionable extracurricular activities. Whoa. She was quoted <laughs> listen to this. She was quoted as saying, parents, when you are helping your children at their computer, please do not appear with big joints in your hands <laughs> and cigarettes. Pride said, those joints be as big as cigars. Oh yeah, we see that. <laughs> you know, but the, the thing about that is, though, you know, the whole thing about the distant learning, though, it's very invasive. <laughs> Very invasive, Especially very if you got the big cigars. Like, hey, those people have those cigars anyway. Every day like that. So <laughs> the thing about it is the only difference is you and they business oh because the, what should they do? Turn their cameras off when they go to help the kids? <laughs> to make sure people like you won't judge them for holding cigars? Or um, what you perceive to be cigars? Well, she said because joints as big as cigars. I don't think about it is who the hell are you to tell somebody to do what, what to do in a house? You at your job and you see what they doing, but you know what? We don't see what you're doing when you're behind your doors. That's a good point. What's you sitting at the edge of your damn bed drinking out of a bottle of vodka with a straw? <laughs> Some people might frown upon that, right? Some people might frown upon that. They might. You see what I'm saying? Now, I personally feel like it's your business and it's none of anyone else's business. You know, but some people might frown upon stuff. Oh, like wait, that. wait. Let me just go on with this. If that pissed you off, the ne th this next sentence or two is about to really rile you up. <laughs> now, really, it said, Pride isn't the only educator who has experienced uh, strange sights and sounds since the COVID 19 pandemic displaced children from in person classes in Florida and beyond. She said, quote, I did have a parent who sat on the couch and we could see an ankle monitor on her leg, uh, said one anonymous teacher. Okay, an anonymous teacher said that. She, somebody else said, "Quote: I had a father. I had a father, no shirt, uh, with no shirt on, uh, drinking a beer at 11:45 in the morning." Another teacher said, "Yikes!" Uh, the Florida teacher also made sure parents were aware of what they were saying while within earshot of the child. She said, "Remember, all children are." are in the computer and can hear your conversation before I continue. Please try to use proper language. No cussing. See, no, <laughs> no, see, no, 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 you cannot try to, you can't tell somebody what type of language they can use at their home. They can use whatever damn language at their home they want to. Okay, now while I say this, I'm not an advocate. I, I'm not in no way advocating for someone to be on a, a on a you know a Zoom call or something, cursing and, and just behaving belligerently. No, I'm not advocating for that. What I am advocating for though is um, the right to privacy. Okay, 
the right to privacy. So if at certain hours that man always sat on that beer with, I mean, always sat on the shirt and had, always sat on his couch and had a beer with no shirt on, that's his house, okay? <laughs> Respectfully, his kid is there to learn. You're not there to watch him have a beer. Okay, so mind your damn business and focus on educating, okay? <sighs> but the lady who had the ankle monitor on, what's it to you? She's at home. <laughs> you trying to make it seem like she was outside doing some illegal. She's at home with her ankle monitor on. <laughs> so leave her alone. I said, oh, her business. Okay, so she finishes. <laughs> no cursing. Because if I, I say, because if I say just no profanity, no profanity, they may not know what profanity is. So no cursing. And oh, also, so they're so illiterate that they wouldn't know. The not word. illiterate. They can, innocent. They can, innocent is more of the word. Oh, to she's use talking here. about the kids. I thought she was talking about the adults. No, no, no. She's talking she about the kids. She said no profanity. She's talking the. Yeah, I thought she was talking about no, the adults. No, she's talking about the kids. She said, um, and also, if you're an adult, act like one. I'm with you on that, sis. But anyway, she says, parents, please understand that your child is in class. And, then, <laughs> and the parents should not stay in the picture and make silly faces behind the child. <laughs> You guys, what I'm gonna tell you guys, what for the most part, for what's her name, Miss? Just go back to this really quick, you guys. Um, uh, look, da, 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 da. Miss Pride. I agree with her on most accounts. I agree with her on just about every account. I so the other side of that is, says, oh, let me finish. Let me intrusive. finish. Okay, that's your opinion. <laughs> that now let me fi- let me finish my opinion. Okay, I agree with her on. Every point she's making, because she's absolutely right, is valid. However, however, there is a however. We can't tell other people what to do in the house. Who now, the hell are you wait a minute. Let me finish. Because what, what you what do? you do, you say potato, I say potato. I may find what you're doing completely inappropriate and everything else. But guess what? That may be your normal way of life. So who am I to yuck exactly. your young? By the same token, I do think that it's harmful for uh, the for children for their parents to be walking across the car- camera half dressed and you know seeing drinking their beers and uh, or smoking a we come on come on come on your kids classmates can see that. They can tease them and make fun of them for what their parents are doing. Think about their social life. I think that there does need to be more thought and effort into that. It's not just your child sitting in front of a computer. I think it's bigger than that. I think it's your child sitting in front of the world. Um, and I think that people should consider that before they just do any old thing. Yeah, you're in your house, but uh, you have to think about it like this. You have guests in your house. There's a certain way you act when you're at home alone, and then there's a certain way you act when you got guests. Act like you got guests. So Story time, go ahead. Thing, you know, but this is my thing, right? Mm-hmm. Yes, I agree that proper etiquette should be maintained. Anyhow, don't you guys don't get me wrong. I'm not passionate on the other side because I feel that people should behave like barbarians in any right. way. <laughs> no, I do. My kids are distant learning too, okay? So I do believe that there's a certain amount of etiquette that right. should be practiced while the children are. When they're at school, I'm at work anyway, so we have to respectfully do each other, you know, when it's time for us to... Um, Yeah, when it's time for us to interact, I might have to take a business call. They're on Zoom class meetings. Mm -hmm. So it's a respect, mutual thing. Mm -hmm. Anyhow, okay. And before I finish my thought, if you guys would like to sponsor this podcast, go ahead and dance on over to Cash App. Put in dollars on your favorite besties. Okay. That's equivalent to giving us a cyber hug, and we definitely appreciate that. Now, to further my opinion on Mm -hmm. this, what I was going to say is, although I do believe that it's proper etiquette, you know, to behave professionally and respectfully, while on Zoom calls, I also equally believe that is very uh, intrusive, mm-hmm. and I think it's absolutely overzealous of this teacher to dare think that she can tell someone and dictate what they can do behind their closed doors. Mm-hmm. It's equivalent to me saying, okay, now that you're off the clock, I'm on the clock, okay? Mm-hmm. And now I'm looking in your window. Oh, she does not have on red panties, but her legs uncrossed. She is <laughs> not. Is she going to have two sandwiches out there? <laughs> Right? Oh, you didn't flush the toilet, you nasty. You see what I'm saying? You're all in their business. You're all, you're talking about who's wearing ankle bumps. You're so fucking what? Yeah. You know, excuse my French, but so <laughs> what? If they're at home. No word, I was French. <laughs> but, but they're at home, so what? Mm-hmm. Okay? If somebody's, if, if, see, here's my whole thing. To the people who are walking past the Zoom cameras and they're holding blunts and stuff like that, right? Mm-hmm. Do I think they should behave that way? No, but you know what? I don't control those people, okay? That's their house. You want to hear a fun fact? When they're not at your school and they were in your class all day and they need help with the homework, guess who's helping them? Mm-hmm. The person holding that same blunt that you see on that camera. Yep. 
okay? Mm-hmm. They have the blunt roll just as tight, <laughs> and it's in their hand, and they're going over there to help their baby the best way they know how. Yeah. So my whole thing is, I feel like, I don't think she should be rushing to judgment, and don't rush to judgment too quick for one. And then for two, also, don't please don't be pompous and assume that you have the right to say, just because we're educating your kids at a distance, now we can see what you guys are doing. We have the right to dictate to you the right way it should be done. Primary example, and I'm going to let it go. Mm-hmm. It was a state, I think it was Mississippi or Louisiana. This was a few years back. We covered a story. The mm-hmm. governor said he didn't like the names. Oh, that I the, remember um, that. No, it wasn't, no, excuse me, it was not the governor. It was a judge. Mm-hmm. It was a judge who said he did not like the names that the parents were naming their kids. In particular, you guys, um, minority kids, okay? Mm-hmm. He didn't like the name because he said they were too hard to pronounce. So he felt <laughs> he should have... <laughs> He should have the right oh to name the people's kids. Let it come and tell me what y'all think about that. I remember that. You guys think somebody should have a right to name your kids because they don't no. like the name you right. gave them? Right. Okay. Well, no, I don't think that they should have the right to do it. In the same equivalent, you have no right to tell me how to parade around my home mm-hmm. where I pay the bills and mm-hmm. I'm the head of the household. Mm-hmm. Okay. Now, respectfully, general guidelines should be y- y- all of your indiscretion should be covered. Let's just be fair. Let's start right there and <laughs> right there. Every, everything should be covered anywhere, okay? You should act equivalent to walking past an open window. You should always right. have something on, mm-hmm. okay? Something decent, mm-hmm. okay? However, it gets very sketchy for me when you start <laughs> debating on don't walk to the thing with a blood. Hey! They hold their blunts. Maybe it's medicinal. How do you know? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Take your, med- med- take your medicine off camera. <laughs> How about you take their medicine and go ballistic on the child? Thank you. Good job. <laughs> See what you've done? Mm. Okay, that was over. I'm drinking okay. my ACV but. on that note. Um, I'll say this story time. Your point is that the fact, the matter is, the fact of the matter, I'm getting tongue tied. Your point is 100% valid. That is the other side of this. That is the other perspective. Nobody has the right to tell you how and how to act in your house and what to do and when and when not. However, I'm just going to say this one point that I'm firm on. My one point that I'm firm on, no, two points that I'm firm on. It should be 100% to the point of, it's, it's detrimental. If, if a person, if a parent is walking around naked, half naked in any way, their child should be suspended from school until they get a written consent with that parent, letting them know. If you get back in front of this camera again like that, because it's not just their child, you got to understand. They're at home with their child. Perhaps they're half dressed some of the time. It's no big deal. It's their child. But other people can see your child, which means other children are seeing that person walking past the camera like that other kids. That makes it not okay. So that's the first point that I'm going to make on that. And then the second thing that I want to go there, I say it should be some, they have to break it up and say, uh-uh, your kid, we're going to, you have to uh, set down penalties with the kid. You do that shit again? No. Uh-uh. It's not going to work. Okay, we're not going to be able to effectively do this at home learning if you keep doing this. The second thing that I think that they should call it on is if a person is doing drugs or alcohol. Here's the thing. Again, if a person is an all out alcoholic or dope fiend in their own home with their own child, can anybody really stop that? No, for the most part, they can. Not unless they get CPS involved. And that's a whole nother thing. But when you involve other people's children watching your uh, watching a, a ch- another child's parent be an all out fucking alcoholic or doing drugs or, you know, hey, come on. That's that you got to call it on. That's too much. The other kids should not have to see that. If that's happening in that one child's house, if it's an egregious thing, perhaps it's a CPS issue. Don't know. But other kids should not have to bear witness to that. So those are my two main stick with things. Now, if a person is sitting down with an ankle brace that I have to 100 billion percent agree with you, that's none of anybody's effing business. That's none of you guys' business. I don't care if they do. If the kid goes and tell their parent, hey, mom, I saw so-and-so's mom with an ankle bracelet, then the mom could, or the mom or dad could explain it to them the best the way they know how or the best way that they choose to. However, you have a right to have an ankle ankle bracelet on a lot people have ankle braces on for all kind of reasons now okay so i mean hey that's none of nobody's business though so and that, you know what and i'll say to those points i absolutely agree until that i will add just this that i would like to know what type of guidelines are either in place and i think it may be too ma- premature right mm-hmm. now to say that are in place but that will be more specifically what's been discussed mm-hmm. to put in place to kind of keep some kind of um teacher control over the situation. This is what mm-hmm. I mean. 
So, for instance, somebody's walking past and they their undergarment. They don't have their they, they don't have any panties, bra on, boxers or something else like that, right? Mm -hmm. And they're behaving in that way. The teacher needs to have some kind of parental guidance where they can auto mute that kid themselves. Yeah, so they can auto mute that. They you know can. Why? They if, can. If the they teacher, can mute. If the teacher is able to do that, mm -hmm. if the minute somebody raised their hand or, or whatever, so the teacher identifies it themselves, auto mute the kid. I don't think the kid should be suspended because it's not the kid who should be suspended. It's the parent. And unfortunately, they're a package deal. But I. Right. I want that to get in. I would not want that to affect the kids' education. I wouldn't because either. Because my last, I'm just wrapping it up. Okay. Because the kids can get so far behind, especially because it's distant learning, mm -hmm. and everybody don't catch up as fast. They want the kids to click this link, mm -hmm. sign in here, raise your hand there, go to this outbreak group. Right. They can easily get flustered, okay, right. and get behind in the developmental process. Mm -hmm. So what I would say is they need to develop some kind of system where if they meet you, they have to be at parent-teacher conference mm -hmm. in order for the kids to resume classes. I would not want the kid to be suspended. I would just say, the parent should have to go to a parent-teacher class and before their kid can come back to school. So the parent, no, this mm -hmm. is not about your kid. It's you. Mm -hmm. You did so it, listen, and you have to be held accountable. This is what I was saying. Uh, suspending the kid was never about hurting the kid, and I understand that. I would not I want the kid the to parent. be suspended either. But what I'm saying, when again, I want to go back over what I thought was grounds for suspension, egregious things. A uh, walking around half-naked. Yo, your parent on the on the camera drunk, okay, or doing drugs. No, 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 no. You got we're gonna have to stop this. We're gonna stop this right now. You come on in and talk to us because we want to let you know if we see this again, we're calling CPS. You cannot do this. Okay, it's not okay, not for your child, and it's not okay for other children to witness. And this the the teacher, Miss Price, she had another good point. Like she said, would you stop with all the cursing? They can hear that. Why would you be loudly <laughs> cursing? Now, your child is online trying to learn and you dropping all the F-bombs, B-bombs and just talking like it's just, you know, you at a party, you at a club. Come on. No, do better. She's right on that. No. Some yeah, people yeah, have strict guidelines to where they don't even cuss at home in front of their kids. Some parents don't. I've, I've known the people like that. And so, you know, to have you to hear you dropping every cuss word that you could even think of. Nah, not cool. Yeah, you know, the thing about it is, well, I, I, I'm, yeah, I don't believe that that kind of thing should be happening on a, a Zoom call, you know, mm -hmm. and perhaps the, for the, if there are specific cases, I want to say, without holding penalty onto everyone else, because so, the majority of people are li not likely to behave that way. I agree. Keep I don't, I don't think the majority, think of, the majority of parents would do that. No, there's a fraction. There's <laughs> always that fraction. There's always that fraction. There's, there's okay? a fraction. And I would just say to those people, you need to have one-on-one -on -one consultations. I agree. As, as if to not hold punity to everyone. Yeah. Call, I think that the parents call should be called in call and have directly. them sign off on it to let them have know. A, 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 what do you call that? Have a FaceTime with yeah. them. Yeah. But have them also, too, sign off to let them know the severity of their actions because some things uh, that a parent can do could be very egregious. So, I mean, uh, you know. Uh, the way that this was explained, the way the article is funny. In a lot of ways, it's comical. But you know what? There is some seriousness to it. So where people have to do better. I know that, you know, at home, at here, Lord, okay. At home learning is something new for all of us. You know, we're all experiencing this thing different, but we can do better. So a shout out to the parents in Florida who's actually doing better, who don't have to be called out on this behavior because y'all know better and you're not doing it. Right. Story time, I'm done. You guys, thank you guys so much for rocking with us. Like up the comments and let us know your opinion. Please weigh in. Have you guys heard about this? I know this is new for everybody, but what say you guys? What do you guys think about it? I mean, there's definitely sides on, you know, both ends. I could agree with different, you know, sides on both ends, but I'm a huge stickler in regards to taking certain freedoms out of the household and giving it to the teachers because that would be equivalent to taking those same freedoms and giving it to the judicial system opposed to in the household. Mm -hmm. So I don't want that line to get muttered too much with those teachers being a little bit overzealous. Although yeah, your they point have is very very valid, valid points. They do have very valid points. I just don't want them to get too overzealous and start crossing the line. You're right. Okay. So mm -hmm. you guys like the comments. Let us know what you guys think. We thank you guys so much for rocking with us. And I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. Right. done. Thank you guys so much for rocking with us. Until next time, you guys have been rocking with your, your favorite, favorite besties. besties. Bye. Bye.